Hi and welcome to Tips Tuesday. In this episode, we're gonna teach you how to hit a fade. I'm Terry Pilkadaris. And I'm Rory here. Hopefully, once you've watched this video, you'll understand how to hit a fade. Oh, need more power. Step one. Do it again. <laughs> we need to cut that one. He's in it. <laughs> nice one there. Why would we hit a fade? Well, there's a couple of reasons why you'd hit a fade on the golf course. One, if the pin position's tucked on the right-hand side of a green, you've got to go over a bunker, you want to start at the middle of the green and fade it in. Sometimes, if you hit it in the trees, not very often for me, but if you hit it in the trees and you've got to hit a cut shot out, you've got to have that option in your bag. Step one is the setup. As you're working on for a fade, I've got my feet parallel to the target line, but the big thing for me hitting a fade, my ball position has got to go further forward. So now I have the ball position more on my left ear with the longer iron. This is a four iron I've got here. So Terry, what would you do differently with the ball position for a fade shot? For a fade shot for me, I'm going to have the ball slightly forward and I'm going to have this on about my left ear. So the further the ball's forward, the more the path is going slightly left. Step two, the grip. As we set up to the club, Everyone has a slightly different grip. Certain grips help fade the ball easier or draw the ball easier. Rory's gonna ex explain to you why my grip is a little bit easier to hit the fades. So Terry, when you set up to the fade shot, I noticed that your right hand is more on top of the ball and the V of your right hand points more towards your chin and that the pocket of your right arm faces more towards the target. Yeah, that's more of a natural motion for me. So when I do it, there's a little grip test we can do is you keep your palms together and just fold your right arm back. And my elbow goes back behind me and the palm stays here. This is helping produce a fading action. So the right arm's straightening more coming down. And that's a byproduct of that. So I have my right hand. Now the V on my right hand goes more to my nose to my right ear, uh, right eye. And the elbow, the crease of the elbow actually points more down towards my target. So you're, if you feel like you're more on top of this shot? Yeah, I'm more on top of the ball. It's going to have a steeper angle of attack and it's, the ball's going to start a little bit left and drift to the right. Step three, swing path. Swing path is the most important thing in hitting the fade. Now, if you've got the wrong swing path, the ball ain't going to fade. So in a general rule, your path for a fade has to be left of your line. So we've got an alignment sticks here. This is our target. Our swing path wants to go slightly to the left. Now, as we're swinging the club along that path line, the face has to be slightly open to that path for the ball to go left to right. So, this is how we hit the fade. Here comes the banana peel. Beautiful. Looks like you've done this before, Terry. Yeah, a couple of times. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Comments below. Don't forget to click on the Asian Troll logo to subscribe and click on the link for another video.